Okay, here I am at Home Depot. Um, I'm gonna buy some of these teas. Uh, six of them. So you're gonna go across the top. You're gonna have left, middle, middle, bottom, bottom, and right. Uh, so these things are about a dollar fifty-six each. Um, I'm also going to buy uh, four of these ones. These are like a buck twenty each. So these are just gonna be on the bottom here, and bottom there. So we'll grab four of those. And um, the most expensive pieces here will be these, and I only need two of those. Uh, so we're at two ninety-seven. So was that six bucks, twelve bucks, ish? Uh, I don't know. We're somewhere in the area of fifteen, twenty dollars after the pipe. I'll show you how I put all this together, but um, it's not going to be very expensive to do this. Uh, we'll see how version two goes. Where's the pipe? Um, here's the one of the quarter. It's 2.98 for these uh, two-foot sections. Probably get away with two or three of these, but if you walk over here. Here's a freaking 10-foot section for less than the price of uh, two of the two-foot sections. It's a lot more, and it's a bit more cumbersome. It's a lot more pipe, but the advantage of it is you get to cut it up and play with it. And if you want to make modifications later, you can. Um, and if you ask the people at the store, you know, if you don't have a big car to put it in, you can ask them to cut it in half and do like two five foot sections and they'll do that for you, which they always have for me. Uh, so in the interest of just having more pipe to play with and cut up and work with later, uh, that's the route I'm going with this. Despite the bad music in the background, I'm just going to grab two of these uh, the bungee kick cords. I'll explain that in a little while, they're buck ninety eight each. Uh, you can get one shorter than this, um, highly recommend it, but this is what they got, this is the cheapest, and I'm trying to keep this uh, budget-wise, so I'll show you how that fits into the Okay guys, I uh, apologize if it's uh, windy out here, but anyway, we're going to get started here. Uh, these are the pieces I just picked up, I just happened to get these ones from Home Depot. Um, this whole set was about uh, $26, I think. We have the 10-foot section here, which you may or may not have purchased, but... Uh, it's going to be far more than we need, but what's kind of fun about that is you get to go through and mess with it however you want. So we have our uh, six kind of cross connectors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay, I can count. Now you can count with me. Um, we have the two of these, which we're actually going to be cutting off the outside edges. That's where the uh, foot rests are going to go through. These are for the bar that goes underneath. and. Um, show you how that works so anyway these are all the pieces again a total of $26 including the longer pipe probably gonna need maybe three feet of the one and a quarter inch PVC uh, I'm gonna do some measurements and I'll show you how it all fits together okay so the uh, pieces between the connectors up there uh, we're looking at these pieces are six and three quarter inches in length um, not absolutely necessary but if you do uh, if you're going to be playing around with PVC a bit, uh, I got one of these PVC cutters. Last time I did it, I used a um, Sawzall, and uh, it, it's absolutely effective, but it's really, it cuts all, makes all sorts of burrs, and it's kind of uh, a mess to clean up, and you have to sand it and everything. With this PVC cutter, I just find my mark, I go through, crunch it a few times. It's kind of hard to do this with the camera, so you zip it. Three, four, five, six, I'll put the last one, seven, cuts off, it's nice and clean, does not need to be sanded, let me uh, focus in on that, anyway, that's how that works, um, so I'm cutting four pieces that are uh, six and three quarter inches long for the uh, connector pieces and uh, I'll show you how that all fits together. Time for me to cut off this end. Um, this part isn't a lot of fun necessarily but it's better than having a flat piece and then drilling a large hole through there. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just using the, the rest of my you know 10 foot pole here to just kind of hold this in position for me so it holds off the edge. Uh, that's much better than trying to say clamp this to that at least in my situation. Your, your setup may be different but uh, that's how I'm doing it, that's how I did it last time and it worked well for me, so I'm doing it again. Well, here's the um, kind of partially constructed view. Um, put the first pieces together, right here. Um, connect there, connect there, connect there, such and such. So it'll all be put together soon and just a uh, kind of work in progress shot. Uh, okay, so uh, 
Colorado XT front mount, trolley motor mount version 2 is assembled. Uh, these pieces right here, this is 9 inches. Um, that's just what my preference was. You can adjust it. Probably wouldn't go a whole lot more than that. Uh, I'll explain a little bit later than that, a little bit later why, but uh, 9 inches I think is a good length for that. Um, we no longer have the goofy board here, uh, so I'll just PVC start to finish. Hopefully that will uh, work out great. And uh, I'm going to go put it on the boat and we'll see what happens. Here's version 1 uh, about to come off the boat. I apologize for all the wind, I just thought it would be nicer to do this outside on a nice day than uh, cramped in my dark and grungy garage. So uh, I'll get the next one put on real quick and we'll see how it works. Alright, front motor mount uh, version 2 is in place. It looks like it's going to uh, fit and hold just fine. Uh, it's kind of nice and that these lines are just perfectly on here. This side right here does give me a little bit of concern. Not a lot, just a little. Um, I mean, that would be a bad idea to put something flat here to go across there, but I, I still think it would be fine. One thing I would recommend is uh, my last one I didn't glue very much. I would, get this cable out of the way, I glue all four of these together because um, there will be some wiggling here and you wouldn't want that to come apart. Uh, the process doesn't take very long. This one also, a slight difference versus the old version. Um, no, I changed that one already. The other version I had kind of a L shape here. This one at the suggestions of a couple of my uh, viewers uh, suggested that I put this piece here with the open top so you can put a uh, just have another storage spot and I think that's a fantastic idea. You can put a pipe to extend up here. Won't really work as a rod holder as it is because this part slides in here so it won't go very far but you can put a pipe right here you know, just some extra. You can put all sorts of stuff there. Rods, um, pliers, fish hook removers, uh, machine guns, whatever you need for your particular fishing. But uh, overall I think I'm happy with this. It uh, solves a couple of the other issues. So uh, I'd say go with it. I'm going to try it out and I, I'm going to obviously paint it. Um, one more thing I'll show you in just a second. The last little uh, addition I did was uh, sometimes when the motor would be thrusting it pulls this way. You know, the motor goes that way, it pushes this back a little bit and uh, these pieces could kind of come a little bit loose. I just decided to wrap a bungee cord around that and that solved that problem. I was holding it in place by putting my feet up here before, but uh, I don't know. The bungee cords for $2 a piece seem to be a pretty good way of uh, mitigating that issue. Alright, for the uh, Colorado XT front motor mount version 2, here's your parts list. I'll just keep this on here for a few seconds. Um, you don't need to buy that 10 foot piece of PVC, but uh, I do recommend it. It's cheaper than buying the uh, three or four chunks of you know, smaller pieces, at least in, in my experience it is, and then you have uh, plenty extra to play with. Feel free to modify this at your, you know, at your leisure, change it up as much as you want. Um, keep in mind I am an idiot, I do not uh, make any claims that this is safe or um, floaty or anything like that. If you hit a rock or a shark eats you, uh, that's really your problem and not my fault, uh, although I'll be, I'll be very sad to hear that. Uh, so if a shark eats you, email me, let me know. So um, go out and buy this stuff and build it and uh, let me know how it works for you. Let me know if you make any modifications. I'm very eager to find out.